investors is that they are one of 20 Hydrodynamics Global Innovation Award semi-finalist teams. And the Global Innovation Award is, is separate from our tournament season. Uh, it's designed to celebrate the amazing inventions of First Lego League teams, um, the inventions that they create during their research project. The Fogbusters is soon headed to San Jose, California in June for the award festivities. There, they will learn critical skills around innovative thinking and buy for the top prize of $20,000 to continue their invention. You can tune in on June 21st for the live stream on the first Twitch channel beginning at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So let's give a big, warm round of applause for the Bugbusters! <laughs> Bugbusters from Richmond, Washington. Because everyone needs clean water, we study grease drops the restaurants use to treat their wastewater. Food scraps, grease, oil, and lots of soap are dumped into the grease trap. This is a replica of a grease trap. Wastewater enters here. There are two walls in the trap. The first one blocks the floating fat, oil, and grease, called fog, in the wastewater industry. The second wall. Let me guess. The second wall is at the bottom of the grease trap. My food scraps sink to the bottom and stay there. That's correct. The problem is that some fog escapes. So grab the liquid fog, emulsifies it, and carries it through the trap. After it leaves the trap, soap attaches to hard water and drops the grease. This clogs up pipes. Many cities monitor businesses that discharge fog. Restaurants, cafeterias, ice cream parlors, auto shops, and coffee shops but they don't have a solution to monitor excess soap. Oh no, fog is escaping! Come on, fat and grease, let's go through the grease trap so we can solidify in the pipe. Grab the soap, bring it along. Motion power! Stop in the name of the water treatment plant! We're going through this grease trap anyways! <laughs> we need help improving our grease trap. Fog is running down the drain! Who are you gonna call? Fog busters, we ain't afraid of no fog. We have the soap, and we can get through. We were in that scene, and that's a fog busting engineering. We fog busters did a lot of experiments this season. Trying out the scientific process, we wanted to stop the escaping fog. We created a soapy, greasy water solution for our experiments. Our hypothesis was that fog would solidify faster than the cold. We were wrong. Temperature had no effect. For fun, we put a bubble in some of the extra solution. We accidentally made a bubble monster, and this became our winning idea. The soap had all bubbled up to the surface. This means that if we bubble air through the liquid in the trap, we remove the extra soap. We used this bubble monster idea for our solution. We added a wall of bubbles in the grease trap along the first wall. This removed the extra soap and prevented it from dissolving and emulsifying the liquid fog. Our bubble will be added to approve many types of traps. Wait, how much is this going to cost me? I'm trying to make money here. Grease traps range from hundreds to thousands of dollars and can hold up to 2,400 pounds of fog. Our solution costs us $20. It is a simple mechanical solution to a complex chemical problem. No, the air bubbles are taking your soap away. Grab that soap. I can't grab the soap. Now I can't get through the grease trap. <laughs> Where did the Fogbusters get this idea? Our team went to a wastewater treatment plant where expert Mr. Billings told us that his biggest problem was that fog would emulsify with the soap, leave the trap, and then clog the sewer system. We learned how grease traps worked from videos on the internet, books, pamphlets, and wastewater treatment newsletters that Mr. Billings gave us. On our second visit, we met up with five additional professionals. We also received replies and suggestions from great truck members. With whom have you shared this dark magic? We shared it with our families and hundreds of others at two school science nights. We were invited back to the wastewater treatment plant. We shared our bubble wall idea with the employees there. They said it was a great idea and we should look into a patent and contact these trap vendors. They put our story in the monthly newsletter. One vendor, EK Resources, responded within an hour. They sent us a real grease interceptor. 
Favorite Coke called our coach five hours later. They sent us real test specs for our next test. We continue our research using the VK Resources track and our bubble wall. In the new track, the bubble wall went right through the fog layer, taking fog with it. Not what we wanted. So we decided to put the bubble wall underneath an inverted funnel. Now our bubble monster has a cage. The soap goes through the tube to the normal outflow and does not touch the fog layer. Look at these numbers. With your inverted funnel of bubbles, you bubble up the extra soap, not the fog. That improves my grease trap and keeps fog out of your sewer system. No! You shared it with professionals and they liked it! No more escaping through the grease trap. But most importantly, we shared it with you. Thanks for listening!